Hey everybody, Leo Honeycutt here with People and Places so that you can plan your weekend, fun weekends for the family. And yes, despite the chaos from the coronavirus, you can still get out, still do things safely. One of the safest places would be the Old State Capitol. One of my favorite places, Brooke uh, Goodrich is here. And she's telling us about how you got a new website, mm -hmm. which is really important now because before you leave to go do anything, you better check to make sure that whatever you want to go to is still available. Yes. So what about this new website? Um, so our new website, we worked with our downtown partners here, um, Tilt, which is, I think, just a few doors down. Um, they really brought our website to life almost. Mm -hmm. um, when you open up the website page, the home page, there's a great drone shot of our building, and it flies into the building. Um, it has great drone footage of our, of our stained glass dome, which, you know, is oh, everywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. So um, it, really brought it really brought it back to life. Our old website was great. It was serviceable wasn't too aesthetically pleasing um, and this one they, they really hit out the ballpark with this one. Wow fantastic and of course you have listed on there the latest about what you know with regard to the opening of whether you know because we do have to keep up yep. with that right now with this coronavirus care uh, we need to make sure that it's still open or there are certain programs that are available because so many things are being canceled left and right yes. at this particular point in history so check out the website what is the website it's a pretty long name um, it's www.louisianaoldstatecapital.org, not .com, .org. Okay. So. All right. So it's louisianaoldstatecapital.org. You see it right there. So I know it's a lot, but, you know, you can just always say Siri, call it up. Yep. All right. So from the standpoint of programs now, mm -hmm. we have... I know that you have the uh, the suffrage movement down there. Yeah, our, um, we are wrapping up one of our uh, traveling exhibits, One Half the People, and that one focuses on, of course, um, women's suffrage movement, but also into the ERA and how all that got passed. Um, and in, in the next month, I think in April, we're bringing, bringing in um, Coney Island exhibit. Oh yeah, what is that? Um, it's called Coney Island Visions of American Dreamland. Um, and the, the, the creators of this exhibit, their, their mindset behind it was that Coney Island at one point was kind of a, a microcosm of the American society. And initially, Coney Island started out as um, a place, a watering hole for the wealthy, mm -hmm. eventually moved into this now we're talking hot about spot. There at Long Island, New York. Yes, yes, yeah, all the way in yeah. New York. Um, and, and more recently, it's kind of fell into... Um, you know, uncertainty. Sure. You know, did we want to continue funding it? How was it going to be funded? Um, and so it's going to be a really great exhibit. It's going to be in our Senate chamber, which is actually something different for us. Usually we keep our um, exhibits in, in the small rooms, but this one is much bigger. Um, and we have some really great things planned that we hopefully we can go through with if, you know, there's no cancellations and things like that. You know, every time I walk into the uh, Senate chamber at the Old State Capitol, I always were thinking, I envision, of course, they had risers back then in the yeah. 1920s and 30s, and this is where Huey Long was impeached. Yes. They really tried, I mean, they had the trial and everything in that Senate chamber, and uh, and so you, anyway, it's a hook and crook thing is how Huey kind of got out of that, and he remained governor, then went on to be U.S. Senator, but uh, it sort of speaks to the political climate and history of the entire state, and you feel that when you're at the old state capitol. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and actually, because of that one event, that's the entire reason we have a new state capitol. Um, that's right. Huey grew to hate the old state capitol. That's right. That's where they tried to get him. Um, and so instead, he said, well, I'm packing up, and I'm moving up the road to build my own. Um, so that's why we have the new one. The new one. Well, and, and there were two juggernauts that tried to bring down the old state capitol. One was Huey, of course, and before yes. him, Mark Twain said, look, you just need to go ahead and blow the thing up because there's no place in America for a castle, and that's what this is. Well, too bad. Yes. Hugh, Huey and Mark Twain both are going to the old state capitol. is still there. Absolutely. And here we are almost 170 years later, still... And it still functions. Still functions, still open, and, and we're rock solid over there. You know, I tell people when they come in for a tour, this is probably the safest building in Baton Rouge. I mean, there is just layers and layers and layers of... Oh, the walls just are that the thick. walls, yeah. We can't yeah. just take a hammer and nail and hang something on there. You, it, it's, <laughs> it takes a lot more than that. So, um, you know, it's... Brooke, it's always good to see you. All right, you know, we've got a fist bump yeah. now. All right, <laughs> don't, don't forget, the old state capital, take the family down there today.